Objective today is we're going to demystify yep. and make you not intimidated by this stuff. It's not intimidating. It's actually yep. a lot simpler. Yep. And once you get the tools, you could use these just like money, just like anything else. These are just tools to help us help ourselves, to help us help other people. And so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to play a vlog that we shot at Riches. You guys are going to love this. This is done by Zach Sparazzo. It's actually super dope. And this is going to walk you through, if you know nothing about fitness, this is going to walk you through the four uh, most important lifts, the more, the compound lifts. These are all, I think you could, I think they could do all these at home. Yeah, I wouldn't just call them the most important, but I would call them the most broad. The most broad, okay. Yeah, yeah, because it, depending on the, your the, goal. The cornerstones? Yeah, the cornerstones oh, yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the cornerstone yeah. of fitness strength training. And I think just about anybody can learn these and you can incorporate them. You could do them at home. And in, in my case, these of these four have transformed everything for me because I can do them in so many different ways, even when it was like the initial phase of lockdown and we all thought we were going to die because we couldn't leave the house. I was still able to maintain some degree of strength training doing these four. Um, and so I'm going to play this vlog and then we're going to come back in. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about nutrition and then we'll we'll go in. Um, we'll do some of your questions. So check this out. I think you guys are going to like this, all right? Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Long. All right, today we're in the field with the man himself, Rich, saying Mr. Ultimate Fitness. He is my trainer, my friend, mentor, coach, all that stuff. And we're going to demystify strength training. I think too many people get intimidated. I used to get intimidated. I used to get intimidated. And so we're going to break it down to just four simple core compound lifts. The squat, the deadlift, the pull up, and the bench press. Those are the four cornerstones of strength training. If you can master those variations of those, you can build your own program. You can build a lot of muscle, burn a lot of calories, get your heart rate up with minimal actual time in the gym. So let's get into it. All right, we're starting with some squats. One of the best values that squats brings is referred to as the king of all exercise. You want to have nice butt? This is it right here. <laughs> so compound lift is when you're using more than one joint. So we've got actually three joints move on this exercise, ankles, knees, and the hips, and all the surrounding muscles that stabilize and contract, uh, those muscles are gonna be working. So quads, hamstrings, glutes, uh, all working. A lot of muscles. You want one more, don't you? <laughs> Ruslan likes to work the camera. He never squatted that low before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got deadlifts, another compound lift. A little bit more emphasis on the posterior chain, so the hamstring, uh, and making sure that we have a strong lower back. So we're about to get our lift on. Use your bar to pull your back down into position. Weight in the heel and drive. Over. My wife is pregnant right now. And some of you husbands out there know baby weight is also for the man too. So I put on about 20 pounds. But the difference is me at 195 looks completely different with muscle on me than without muscle on me as a skinny fat man. So that's the biggest thing is I don't look as big even though I'm a little heavy right now. Strength training is super important for uh, goals depending on what your goal is. But if strength training will work uh, conditioning, hypertrophy, muscle. Burn calories, shape your body. You're the artist. Hypertrophy is like a bodybuilding. You're changing uh, or growing the muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. Rich can give you the scientific explanation of that. But more or less, me at 195 at 20% body fat looks way better than me at 195 at 35% body fat. I look smaller and I look more muscular. And ultimately, I think I look better this time versus the last time my wife was pregnant. I'll pull up a fat Ruslan picture for this part right here. So we got some pull-ups. So we got a back exercise thrown in here. We'll get a little upper back. So the back is working um, the lats and the biceps as we do our pull-ups. So that's our compound lift here. Okay, so let's get into it. If they cannot do a pull-up, can you give them an alternative? Is there's there an alternative? Yeah, there's several different variations that you can modify a pull-up. You can use a band to assist you. You can do a jumping pull-up 
or you can even do like a row, like leaning over, grabbing a strap or a bar and doing a partial pull up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pull up. When this is not normal, we're short on time, so usually these guys can do hundreds of pull ups. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, assisted pull up. So I'm gonna push him to failure, as many as they can do, till his body goes to failure, and I'm gonna make him do a couple more. Good extension, chin over bar. Good. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Well, oh. three, two, one. So okay. that was the other compound lift was the press. <laughs> so we're 40 minutes in. I've burned 400 calories, and my heart rate is in the cardio zone. That means that I'm getting double bang for my buck. I'm building biceps, back, compound lifts, but I'm also in the cardio zone. Like I couldn't be jogging and having my heart rate this up. I'd have to be playing basketball to have my heart rate this up. So this is, I'm getting a gang of bang for my buck here. Still in the cardio zone, burnt a total of 500 calories. And we gotta talk about the last lift, which is a push, a push of some form. So anytime you, weight is close to you and you're gonna push it away. So chest, shoulders, triceps are working. Uh, simple th exercise like a push-up. Couple reps. And hold. Now we're gonna work the shoulders a little bit more. I'm gonna make him walk his hands back. Stick your butt up as high as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Touch your forehead to the ground. Oh, oh yeah. So uh, that was a press movement. So we did uh, three different variations, flat, inclined, deep, and elevated, which works our shoulders more. So uh, varies the in intensity and different emphasis on the chest, shoulders, and triceps on each movement. So it was good. So that was a quick overview of the four compound lifts. The squat, the deadlift, the pull up, or some type of pull motion, and the push, some type of press push motion. Before I knew these four compound lifts, I just kinda went through the gym using random machines, not really getting my heart rate up, and honestly not building a ton of muscle or getting a ton of results because I was doing things that were more isolated, so I wasn't hitting multiple body parts, more multiple joints, compound lift, right? And then once I started doing these, once I got a trainer, once I got focused, the needle started to move radically in terms of forming muscle, and, uh, and so now we're also going to move the needle down so I can lose some of this COVID weight. King Stream Entertainment, Bruce Lawn. All right, we are back. So uh, those are the four compound lifts, uh, fairly straightforward. Those are the cornerstones of just me being able to take ownership of my of my personal training. And, and the great part is, is, is Rich makes sure I stay on top of legs because as you guys could tell, I got some big legs and I don't like doing legs. <laughs> but... um. When COVID hit, I would do those same exercises. I Thankfully, I got a pull-up bar, but I would do the same things at home so I could do push-ups with Levi on my back and push them out that way, squats with Levi on my back, that kind of stuff. And I got Levi into doing these. So Levi can do probably about two real pull-ups um, and, and, you know, squats. And he's always kind of messing around the house, but he does better than a lot of his friends. So uh, that's those are the basic. Those are the basics, in my opinion, Hopefully that empowers you to not be intimidated. Do not be intimidated by this stuff. It's not that serious. It's fairly straightforward. These are movements that humans as a species have done, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the pull, the push, yeah. Yeah. the squat, the lift. Like these are common things. Yeah. It's just that our culture and our time is so different. Let's let's give the, you want to uh, touch on anything else in terms of lifting and strength training? Yeah, well, the only thing like, well, everything is, and so we're talking about, we're using a broad paintbrush. Yes. And so there's a lot that comes into play with special populations of people with injuries yes. or certain illnesses yes. and those kind of things. But that those four basic lifts are basically how the body moves. It either pushes things away, pulls things to you, or can hold it statically. And so those are just some of the simple, basic movements that we kind of build a foundation on for a general population. Yep. Um, and there, you know, one of the, I kind of said, if that was negative about CrossFit, I didn't mean to, but like 
what they did a really good job is helping people to understand modifications of movement. Mm. And so they did a really good job of like, if someone can't do a pull up, how to do banded pull ups, yep. jumping pull ups. And so within those movements themselves, there are tons of different modifications yes. that you can do to start with. Yep. And that's kind of what is really cool about that style of training is you can get a high level athlete training with someone who has injuries or modifications yep. needed and they can all work out together, which was kind of cool about CrossFit. I mean, it's, it's limited within itself too, but, uh, that's really good to understand that even though, uh, and a deadlift doesn't necessarily have to be for max weight or yes. it can be for reps and it can yep. be for modification. And yep. so those are just simple lifts that we can use to start with, with a structure or yep. a base, yep. uh, inside someone's specific goals. Yep. We can use those differently or not even yes. use them at all. So yeah. someone's an athlete and they need to, uh, speed. We wouldn't necessarily lose, use some of those lifts or somebody yeah. who is, uh, it's got, spinal issues maybe we won't do those stuff so right, those are that's right. just that's broad good. paint that's good. that's good that's good that's good thank you for clarifying that same basis with the worst plane facing moments in isolation see i was hoping i would do this to get more family time a busy mind and worried heart is this not where i reside i subscribed that all that traveling wasn't doing well for my soul glad i never made it when my name went through the rumor mill i suppose that the lord knows how to fail instead i'm doing well at